Hey guys and um, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a two month hair growth update. I'm going to be showing you some before and after photos, tell you what's been going on, what I've been doing and some products that I've been using. If you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Check out my playlist on all my things hair and beauty and let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the before. So this was two months ago and the after which is now from all these lovely different angles. And as you can see, it's definitely thickened out quite a bit. My hair colour has changed, the condition is a lot better. Yeah, I am rather pleased. I'm surprised how much it's actually grown. It's looking a little bit tufty and the mullet is setting in slowly but surely. I'm going to try my best not to cut it, but that's where we're at currently. So I'm going to show you the things that I have changed, added into my little hair care routine that I think have really made a difference. So. This is the first one. If I'm gonna focus, am I gonna focus, am I gonna focus? So yeah, this is the first one, which is absolutely huge. So I treated myself to a new pillow and my boyfriend Matt, he bought me a silk pillowcase for my birthday. And you know what? Best decision ever was switching from a silk pillowcase from a regular one, because I'm not gonna lie, having short hair, you wake up every morning looking like you've been electrocuted or a bit like Jedwood. This has stopped that, like my hair, silky smooth, all I've done is brush it today and the health and just everything to do with my hair is so much better. Like it doesn't stick up in so many weird places. It still isn't perfect in the mornings, but it's definitely not as bad as it used to be. And just because it distributes the oils a lot better and it isn't like pulling on your hair as much as a cotton pillowcase, it's definitely added some sleek and some shine to my hair. And I honestly think if you're trying to grow your hair, it's like the best investment. I think it was about 30, 40 pounds off Amazon. I'll put a link down below. Honestly, best decision ever. Obviously, if you look at the thumbnail, my before and after photo and me right now, my hair color has changed and I'm back to the henna life, guys. It does make a difference to your hair. Not only is it like such a nice process to do, you can dye your hair as many times as you want without screwing up, like I have a tendency to do. The condition of my hair since I've been using henna, I've done it two or three times now since it's been short just because it really has made a difference to my dry and dead and broken and destroyed ends. But I am aware that this time I do just kind of have to stick with henna. I can't go and bleach it and try and dye it a different colour because that's how we end up in the disaster I was in last time. So we're back on the Caca Rouge. I really like this. It's just nice and easy in comparison to normal henna. Yeah, it's definitely made a difference to condition and obviously the colour of my hair and I really, really like it. So that is product number one. Another Lush, oh I've got henna all over my hands now. Another product I've been using from Lush is the Super Balm. I've mentioned this before I think, but it's a scalp treatment. It smells very green and it is very green, literally. You just pop this on your hair before you wash it, leave it for 20 minutes or so, and it really does make a difference just in general to my scalp being less itchy, and also because I do kind of spread it all over my hair because my hair's so short, it kind of acts like a hair treatment, which is really, really nice. So this is a good one. It's quite expensive for a small pot, but if you're just applying it to your scalp or you have short hair, it's the bomb. And the final two products I've been using is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Leave-In Conditioner. I hate the smell of it, but I do actually think it's making a difference now. I only use it once a week because it's like a protein-y treatment thing, but I feel like this has really made a difference to the condition of my hair, even if it does smell a bit odd. And it's really, really cheap. It's like three pounds, so go out and buy it, give it a go, and if it's not your cup of tea, just give it to someone else, see if they like it. But yeah, really, really happy with this one. And I have mentioned this one before, which is the Bonding Oil by Olaplex. And this is just a really, really nice oil. I think, personally, my favorite hair oil is the Aussie one. It smells super, super good as well, but I just haven't really purchased it. So I've been going through this and it is lasting a really long time. I know my hair is super short, so that probably doesn't really account for much, but I really like it. It smells great. It, oh, they rock it. Oh. a cat knocking over the plant. Um, I really really like this. It's quite expensive especially for the size. I mean literally the size of it in comparison to my palm is ridiculous but really really good. Definitely making a difference in terms of keeping my hair nice and smooth. And that is it in terms of products and things I've been doing. The one other thing that I've kind of added in which it's not really like a hair thing it's just a general health thing is I'm exercising quite a bit 
and I'm drinking a shed load of water. I'm trying to be really, really good on the water front because I know I just drink tea, coffee, tea, coffee, tea, coffee, endlessly. So I've been really trying to up my water intake, which is really good for hydration and just your body in general. And I think that's making a difference. Hopefully it is, but we will see. So I'll update you in a month or so's time when there are some changes. And yeah, hopefully it won't take too long to grow this out. I think probably by March, I might be back at the point I was before where I was like a short bob, but maybe I'm being a bit optimistic. Who knows? If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you next time.